With their preparations for the journey to planet Nemec complete, everyone has gathered at Kame House. <laughs> What's with the hair, Gohan? My mom thought I should look more presentable. You know, when meeting an entire alien race for the first time. Ah, uh, okay. Man, your mom sure is strict. We're counting on you! Don't come back until you've found those Dragon Balls! On it! Bye, Grandpa! Bye, Mom! Bye, Master Roshi! Write me every day, Gohan! All right, time for takeoff! Watch out, Planet Namek, here we come! Meanwhile, just as Bulma and the others left for planet Nemec, Vegeta, back and fully recovered from his fight on Earth, learned of his commander Frieza's absence. Frieza was on his way to planet Nemec with his most elite subordinates in tow. He was in search of the Dragon Balls that he learned of from Vegeta and the others on Earth. His goal? To wish for immortality. Vegeta hurriedly made his way to Namek in an effort to catch Frieza and stop him. If Frieza is able to attain immortality, the universe is history! I'm not going to let that happen! Those Dragon Balls are mine! Meanwhile, 34 days after Bulma and the others left Earth, they finally arrived at their destination, Planet Namek. We did it! We actually made it to Planet Namek! This place kind of reminds me of where Piccolo trained me, back on Earth. No use waiting around. Let's find those Dragon Balls. Oh, hey, check this out! I'm picking something up. No doubt about it. It's a Dragon Ball! You're right! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> All right! All right! We found we one! Found we one. found one! Huh? Krillin, do you feel that strong energy over there? Huh? Man, you're not kidding! It's massive, and it feels crazy strong! And there's something kind of evil about it, too. Uh, what's going on? There's nothing to freak out about. Besides, look at the reading I'm getting over there. The radar's picking up four Dragon Balls all in one spot. Uh, yeah, you're right! <laughs> it's probably just some Namekians. We got nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> right? <laughs> Wait, I feel like I've seen that ship somewhere before. It's a sand spaceship! I knew! Go on, lower your power level. They'll know we're here. Yeah. It's Vegeta. Looks like it's just him. I am not letting you get your filthy hands on those Dragon Balls, Frieza. Yeah! Bulma, let the others know what's going on, and then head back to Earth. Bulma, let the others know what's going on, then head back to Earth. Gohan, sound good to you? It, yeah. Uh, okay, I'll get a hold of Master Roshi and fill him in first. Once I'm back, I'll pick Goku up and bring him here. I should be back in about two months. Uh -huh. Right. Two months. Mm -hmm. What? 
Another one? Hold the phone. What's another one of those things doing here? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I want to know. We found it, Lord Frieza! Excellent work. Now only three remain out of my grasp. <laughs> Take care not to lose that, Dodoria. It seems Vegeta is looking for the Dragon Balls as well. Yes, sir! Uh, pardon me, Lord Frieza. Kui has just intercepted Vegeta. Has he? My, that was fast. In addition, uh, the two large power sources from earlier have suddenly disappeared as well. I will make my way to their location and investigate. I should be able to identify them shortly. Very well, but I'm more concerned about ridding myself of that traitor Vegeta. What a shame. I didn't think him foolish enough to turn against me, let alone attempt to steal the Dragon Balls for himself. Kui should be on his way to dispose of Vegeta. Should be interesting. Those two have long hated each other. They are roughly equal in power, I believe. So I assume it'll take a fair bit of time. You're not going anywhere, Vegeta. I'm going to enjoy blowing you to pieces. Right. Make sure to let Goku and the others know. Thanks. All right, I'm heading back to Earth now. Good luck, you two. I'll be back with Goku as fast as I can. <gasps> Krillin! Someone's coming! Huh? Is it the Saiyan? No. It's not Vegeta. It's someone weaker. Probably a Namekian. It should be right around here. Huh? Look. What the hell is that? What? Oh, those aren't Namekians! They don't look like Namekians! Who the hell are they? Their power levels are a joke! They're nothing but trash! I guess it's just some Taurus, huh? Well, anyway. We got orders to annihilate everyone on the planet. It wouldn't be much fun if they got away. Sounds good to me! No! That's our ship! <laughs> Sucks to be them! Guess that we're in the wrong place at the wrong time! Okay, go on. Feel free to let loose on these guys. They're nothing compared to you! Here goes! Right! Yeah! <laughs> 
point, Gohan! Nice going? There's nothing nice about this! Uh, Lord Frieza, it seems like those two power sources from before may warrant more of our attention. They raised their power levels almost instantly, and then vanished after defeating two of our scouts. That is indeed strange. I highly doubt it's Vegeta's doing. Correct, my lord. It can't be Vegeta. The sources each have a power level of about 1,500. 1,500, is that right? Hardly anything worthy of our concern, wouldn't you say? They do seem rather unruly. If you happen upon these two, eliminate them. Let us leave Vegeta's destruction to Kui. <laughs> you hear that, Vegeta? That was a direct order from Lord Frieza. I finally get to kill you. Don't make me laugh, Kui. Do you actually think you can beat me? <laughs> Are you blind, Vegeta? Take a look at your scouter. You'll see my power level is leagues above yours. <laughs> well now. <laughs> to realize how much of a threat I am. Good. I'll get rid of that waste of space in no time. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> That's about right. Are you ready to die? <laughs> Worthless. <laughs> you must really have a death wish. Coming at me like this? <laughs> You've lost your edge, Vegeta. You don't stand a chance against me with a power level like that. <laughs> don't be disappointed. You're in for a treat. You see, I've managed to learn a little new trick during my time on Earth. <laughs> like what? How to run away? Like how to control my power level! <laughs> no way! 19, 20, 21, 22,000! <laughs> oh. well, this must be some sort of error, but... I sent my scouter to Vegeta's coordinate, and it's showing a reading of more than 22,000. Did you say 22,000? That's an older model scouter, isn't it? Here, I'll get a more accurate reading with mine. 
<laughs> Impossible! It can't be! Is my scouter broken? But it's a newer model! The reading's up to 24,000! <laughs> Are you saying his power level is even beyond ours now? <laughs> Die! We're supposed to be equal in power! You fool! I've grown stronger with each battle that I fought! The most recent one on Earth pushed me to the brink of death! Don't think for a second that a pampered peon like you could ever be my equal! from before. That 24,000 reading, it was real. Oh, I don't believe it. He just took out Kui. I'm hardly surprised at this. How soon you forget, Vegeta is a highly experienced fighter in every right. Not to mention foolish. <laughs> he doesn't seem to know his error and so brazenly defying me. Lord Frieza! The scouter shows there are about ten Namekians in that direction! Very good. Let's hope they have what I'm looking for. The fifth Dragon Ball. Let's pay them a visit. I... I hate to say it, but that's it! We're screwed! There's no way we can ever get back to Earth now! Uh, Bulma? Let's... let's at least get away from this place! We're sitting ducks out here! We should try to find a place to hide! Maybe in a Namekian house or a cave or something! We'll try to figure something out! I'm... I'm sure the Namekians can help us fix our ship, right? I wish I could be as optimistic as you two.
Over here, it looks like it'll do the trick. So, how long do we have to stay in a creepy place like that? Huh? Grillin, do you sense that power over there? Uh, yeah, I do. But it's not like the others from before. This time it might be Namekian. Huh? Hide! There's some strange energy headed this way. What are you doing, Bulma? Hide! Those guys we beat up earlier weren't alone! Huh? It's them! and check the dragon radar, please? You said four of the dragon balls were in one spot, right? Well then, it's possible that those guys... Uh, yeah! That explains it! They have the four dragon balls! Yeah, that's what I thought. Go on, did you feel it? Yeah, their power was incredible! Whoa, Th that small guy, he, he might actually be stronger than Vegeta. Whoa, stronger than Vegeta? No way. Uh, cool, man. Wait, how are we supposed to get the Dragon Balls from those guys? Once Master Roshi learned of the situation on Namek from Bulma, he informed Goku right away. Goku, who was eager to help his friends, then asked Dr. Briefs to build him a spaceship. Dr. Briefs modified the ship Goku arrived in as a child and gave it enough power to reach planet Namek in just six days. After bringing himself back up to fighting condition with some sensu beans, Goku left for Planet Namek. All right, I'm off! I'd better get training with this gravity machine right away. After all... Hey, you guys! 
are those creeps from before heading straight for the Dragon Ball? Uh, hey, that's... Wait a minute. Th that's right back where Krillin thought that the Namekians were approaching us. Okay, I'll head over there and check things out. I'm going to. Uh, wait a second! Huh? Are you just gonna leave me here by myself? Well, it'll be a lot safer for you here. Actually, you might be right. Fine. I'll just open up a capsule home here in the cave and wait for you guys. Go on. Make sure you lower your power as much as possible. Right. Freezer's Horrible Henchman. <laughs> Really, some Namekian villages here? Well, if they are, we need to hurry and find them before it's too late. Go on, you know the deal, right? Yeah. No energy blasts or flying, right? That's right. We have to move undetected. Fly right now, but I can't. I'm gonna take you down. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, what's going on down there? They look just like Kami and Piccolo. Ah, they must be Namekians! First introductions. I am Frieza. I'm looking for the Dragon Balls. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe one of them can be found here. We... we don't have anything like that. <laughs> it takes a great deal of courage to lie to me with a power level like yours. <gasps> that device... That must be how they're able to find what few villages are spread across the planet. Oh, 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 oh. you know the other elders were all too willing to provide me the information I need. W willing? That's impossible. Well, they did require some convincing. Zabon, show how persuasive we can be. Sir. Whoa. <laughs> Perhaps you understand now. If you insist on being this difficult, those young ones over there will be the next to die. <clears throat> How terrible! What do you intend to do with the Dragon Balls? Why, I'll make a wish, of course. Nothing too extravagant, mind you. Just immortality. <sighs> Even if these monsters manage to gather the Dragon Balls, they still might not be able to make their wish. I, I suppose we have no choice, but promise me one thing. Promise me you won't lay a hand on the children. 
Of course. Mind you, you could have saved yourself all this trouble by doing this sooner. Now, take this and be gone. Well, I have you. Perhaps you can tell me something. Say the location of the two remaining Dragon Balls. If memory serves, you need seven of them to make a wish, isn't that right? Don't be ridiculous. We Demechians are not in the business of endangering our own kind. And just when I thought you were less foolish than the rest, I suppose I have no other recourse but to kill you and the children. Get out of here, Dende! No! Now you won't be able to hunt us down anymore! You're all dead! It's not much fun killing small fries like you. But you gotta die sooner or later. That's enough! Well, what? Who the hell are you? I'm gonna make you pay for what you did! Hey, go on. Even if we take them together, these guys are way out of our league. You're just the one. Us. He's gaining! 
Wait, that's right. Here, go on, take the kid. Okay. Don't look directly at me. Take this. Solar flare. Yeah! My eyes. I can't see. All right, it worked. Go on, hide. What? Oh, wait! You little twerps! Where the hell you go? Uh. <sighs> We're safe! All right. We need to head back to Bulma fast. Hey, can you fly? Oh, uh, um, yes. Th thank you for saving me. So, um, what's your name? I'm Dende. Hmm? One of Frieza's goons is on the move. This energy. Is that the Doria? This is perfect. I can more than handle him all by myself. Taking on Frieza now would be downright suicidal. I have to plan my next moves carefully. <laughs> Easy prey. <gasps> Vegeta! Hey there! It's been quite some time, Dodoria. I've waited for you to foolishly leave Frieza's side. Knocking you around should be easy enough without Frieza here. You think you're hot stuff, don't you? Do yourself a favor. Shut up and just hand over that scouter of yours. Do that and I'll let you live just this once. <laughs> Is that so? You went completely radio silent during your attack on the Namekian village, which can obviously mean only one thing. You've lost every single one of your scouters, haven't you? <laughs> How perfect! Now I can make my way over there unnoticed. You want this, don't you? I guess you're not as dumb as you look, Vegeta. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Why did you break it? You idiot! Don't you realize you're not going to be able to find the Namekians without it? I recently spent some time on a planet called Earth. Believe it or not, they don't require scouters in order to sense power. There was another Saiyan there as well, and he also knew how to use that technique. Which means an elite like myself should easily master it. That's it then, isn't it? Those little runts I was after, they were Earthlings. What are you doing, teaming up with those punks? What Earthlings? What the hell are you talking about? There's no way Earthlings could be out here. Enough of this nonsense. Stop wasting time and come at me already. I see what's going on here. You've come to realize just how much stronger I've gotten. And now you're too afraid to fight me. You saw my power level on your scouter before, didn't you? That number wasn't accurate. My scouter was busted. Prepare yourself! Yeah! 
Secret, but it ain't so little. It's a big one. It's about the home of your people. It's about planet Vegeta. What? What is it? Spit it out. You've probably heard all this before. How planet Vegeta was destroyed by some huge meteor, right? But that's not the truth. What happened is a bunch of crazy strong Saiyans like yourself started cropping up all over the place. And the more powerful they got, the more they didn't see the point in following orders from anybody. Lord Frieza lost trust in you guys, and because of that, he felt he needed to lay down the law. And oh, did he! Lord Frieza ended up not just destroying planet Vegeta, but every single Saiyan himself. But you know, Vegeta, you should be grateful. Lord Frieza saw a lot of potential in you, too much to waste. So he made sure to destroy the planet when you weren't there. <laughs> I bet that was a lot to take in, huh? You're wrong about that, Dodoria. I couldn't care less about my planet, my comrades, or even my parents. But what infuriates me to no end is how I let myself be used all this time by bastards like you! Thinking about it makes me sick to my stomach! <laughs> you good freezer! Ah! Freezer's terrified of the limitless potential of a Saiyan's power. If what I heard on the Scouter is to be believed, then all seven Dragon Balls are needed in order to make a wish come true. First, I'll get my hands on the two remaining Dragon Balls. No, one should be more than sufficient. If I can hide even just one of them, Frieza and his lackeys won't be able to make their wish a reality. Ha! 
Then all I have to do is wait until their guard is down and steal the rest of them. Finally back. Well, you guys certainly took your time, didn't you? <laughs> uh, took your time. <laughs> huh? Uh, who's the pocket-sized Piccolo? Oh, he's Namekian, isn't he? What's your name, little guy? Y yes, my name is Dende. Huh. It looks like you guys have been through a lot. Oh yeah, that's right. I've got great news from my dad! Really? That's great! Goku's on his way here as we speak! He should arrive in about... Mm, six days! And I hear he's toughening himself up! My... my dad's coming? Hooray! Yahoo! Six days remained until Goku would arrive on Planet Nemec. Goku! Can you hear me, Goku? Wait. Huh? Where are you? Oh, that's right! You're heading to Namek. Good luck finding the Dragon Balls! Wait a minute. You mean you don't know what's going on? There's some crazy stuff going down on Namek. Crazy stuff? Well, we can talk about that later. I've actually got some guests here with me. In fact, it's four people you know quite well. Well, wait, you don't mean... They've asked me to train them even harder than I trained you. Hey, Goku, you hear me? We met up with Kami in the other world. And he told us all about this place. You said there's four of them there, right? So that's Yamcha, Tien... Wait, is Piccolo there too? <laughs> I'm not about to let you be the only one that gets stronger in all of this. Chaozu's here with us too! Kami pulled some strings and let us have our bodies back so we can train here. Pretty cool of him, huh? That's awesome! Glad to hear it! <laughs> I'm doing a bit of training myself on the way to Namek. I had my spaceship customized to simulate a hundred times gravity for some extra intense training. But if I don't get stronger in the next five days, I'm gonna be in some pretty big trouble. You mentioned that before. What exactly is going to happen? What? Whoa, hold on. You mean there's someone out there that's stronger than Vegeta? Wait, you're not talking about Frieza, are you? Beats me. I didn't hear anything about a Frieza. You know him, King Kai? L listen, Goku. If it's actually Frieza, then stay far away from him! Get on, I'm telling you, not just for your own safety, but for the safety of Earth, Namek, and every other planet in the universe! Is... is he really that strong? I kinda wanna meet him now. Do not go anywhere near him! You hear me? I'm looking for some sort of elder. I'm here to retrieve the Dragon Ball. Mm. 
battle for the Dragon Ball. Yeah, a bunch of energy just started disappearing. Really? M more Namekians are being killed! And the one doing the killing has a very familiar energy. Uh, it's Vegeta! Now it's not just Frieza we gotta worry about wishing for immortality, but Vegeta too! If we can find one of the Dragon Balls and hide it, neither of them will be able to make their wish. But, but they'll just continue killing Namekians until they find all the Dragon Balls. No. But who are you people? Where did you come from? And how do you know about the Dragon Balls? Please, if you can, save my people. Yeah, about that. Well, if you already know, I think... I think I understand what's going on now. Come on, follow me. I'll take you to see Grand Elder Guru. Huh? Uh... Grand Elder Guru? Why are we headed there? Those monsters that attacked our villages already have four Dragon Balls. Not only that, didn't you say that there are more people being killed over there? Uh, yeah, I think I know who did it. Vegeta. Th their energy, it's all gone. There's no one left. Th then... Then that means there aren't many Namekians left on this planet. Ugh. Oh, man. Even if we find the Dragon Ball in the village that Vegeta attacked, that still leaves one! Wait, does Grand Elder Guru have the last Dragon Ball? Y yes Not good! If Vegeta reaches him before us, he'll get his hands on the seventh Dragon Ball! But we have to hurry and let Guru know! I'll go with Dende. Gohan and Bulma, you two wait here. There's no point in all of us going, okay? Right. Be careful, you guys! <laughs> <laughs> 